much ago. Chemistry concept. We introduced the another another topic, another topic in front of you. This is dual nature, dual nature of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves generally generally shows two behaviors: particle behavior as well as with uh, with nature and we will have to study both both of them one by one first of all we will have to discuss about the particle nature of electron as we earlier as we earlier earlier discussed formula which is known as e is equals to h u this formula exactly represent exactly represent the wave nature wave nature or the wave nature of electron new new represents new represents the frequency frequency of electron where the h h is known as max constant and e is the total energy associated with electron we can convert this formula like this E is equals to H C upon lambda. H is H is always remains constant, but in case of particle nature, we distinguish we distinguish correctly these two nature like this. In case of particle, in case of particle, if I throw a ball towards you, only you can catch this ball at the same time. But if I Talk to you, and your friends are your friends are sitting together in this hall. All your friends, all your friends hear my voice clearly at the same time. This is the basic. This is the basic distinction between particle nature and the wave nature of electrons. Now. Another uh, another formula associated with relationship between particle nature and the wave nature of electron given by D Broglie D Broglie, which is known as D Broglie's equation of dual behavior. Formula formula can be explained by. Lambda is equals to h upon mv, where lambda is the wavelength wavelength of electromagnetic waves. Lambda is known as the wavelength of electromagnetic waves, and v is the velocity of electron velocity of electron and mass mass a mass is equals to the mass of electron m represents the mass of electron. In case of particles, characteristic property of particle is mass. Characteristic property of particle is mass, whereas the characteristic property of wave is wavelength, which is represented by lambda. And with the help of this theory, with the help of de Broglie's equation, we can convert. We can convert a particle. A particle into wave. In case of in case of small particles like electron, electron or the micro particles, other micro particles, these particles always shows these two behaviors: particle nature and the wave nature as well. We can, if we have the value of, if we have the value of velocity or mass of any particle, then we can calculate the wavelength of electromagnetic wave this relation is very crucial to convert convert any particle in terms to explain any particle in terms of wave we have some numericals we have some numericals on the basis of on the basis of this formula if we know if we in case of electrons in case of electrons we can explain in case of electron all these thing mass of electron as we know mass of electron is equals to 
0.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. As we know, Planck's constant, value of Planck's constant h is equal to 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule sec. If, if we have the value of velocity, then we can calculate the value of lambda z. If we have the value of lambda, we can calculate the velocity z. This is our ch channel. Friends, this is my channel. Concept, chemistry concept. We give so many useful videos for you. We make so many useful videos for you, which is which is very useful for competitive examinations and academic examinations.